let's go through the process of how to merge individual maps or masks for your uh, PBR material into one single image file. As you can see illustrated in this image, we have three different black and white images that we want to merge into one. So in this case, it's emission, roughness and metallic. All of these are black and white images and we somehow want to put each of them into a different channel R, G and B respectively to create one image that we can then import into an engine and use those different channels as masks for your material. So the way we do this is we create a new uh, empty file in Photoshop or whatever image software you're using, but we're going with Photoshop here. You create a new file by going to File New and then add whatever resolution your maps are. You can change that later, but uh, you want it to be a power of two number. So 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, et, et cetera. So uh, in this case, we are using 2048 by 2048, and we already have that in the, in the scene. In case that you don't see it's RGB here, and instead it's like grayscale or something similar, you go to image mode and then select RGB color because you need three of those channels to be available here where, when you press channels. So now we need to put those different textures into our channels. The way we do it is we open them separately. So this is shield underscore E for emission. This is shield underscore R for roughness. And this is shield underscore M for metallic. So what we want to do is select E, check the resolution. It's 2K as our main uh, empty file. So we select the layer, Control A to select everything, Control C to copy, and then go back to our empty file and then select channels and then pick the channel that you want the emission map to be on. So in my case, I want it to be on the red channel. So I select the red channel and then control V to paste it. We're going to do the same thing for the roughness. So we select the shield underscore R file, control A, control C, go back to our merged maps file, select channels, select green, paste it there. And we do the same for metallic but we're going to put it into the B channel. So now when we cycle through channels, we'll see that this is the only information that we have in our red channel. This is the information in the green channel and this is the information in the blue channel. All of them merged together look like this. So you can kind of see which channel is being influenced by which map. So now that we have a combined texture, we're going to export it and use it as, a, as an image with three masks in uh, each channel in our engine. We're going to do that next. So in our engine, in this case, I'm using Unreal 5, Unreal Engine 5. Uh, we want to import our mesh that the maps were made for. And then we want to import the textures. So I imported the, the color map the newly created emission roughness and metallic map and also the normal map. We want to put the compression when you double click on the ERM, you want to co put compression to masks. And now we want to create a material. In which we are going to assign our maps and see how it looks in the on the on the mesh. So we're also going to create a material instance so we can tweak parameters easier. Once we open the material for our shield, we want to import the textures into the node graph. So we are putting color map into base color. We are putting ERM. Now this is the part where the 
where the channels are going to get split. So we take emission channel and put it into emissive color. We take the roughness channel, which is G, put it into roughness and the B channel, which is metallic into metallic and also the normal map. We press save and we should already get the result we wanted. Once we drag our material, whatever master or instance I want to do instance in this case to our shield material slot and we get the color roughness metallic and emission information where we wanted it, where it's supposed to be. So now you can play around with different values and see what suits you best by manipulating these channels. For example, you can take emission channel and then multiply it with a color. Emission color. So we are going to multiply our color with another node called emission intensity and then put that into emission. So now we can control the color and the intensity of the emission. We're going to do the same thing for, for our roughness channel. Duplicate this parameter and call it roughness intensity. And we're going to multiply it so we can control the amount of roughness that we want. So let's default these values to something reasonable, whatever, and save this. So once it's saved, we can open our material instance that was assigned and then control intensity. We can put something like 50 to see how the emission map is working. Also, we can change the color of it. Something like that, I guess. Also, we can put it to zero if we don't want any emission on that part to happen. Let's put it to something, whatever, for the sake of preview. And also you can control the roughness intensity here. Putting it to zero will make everything very smooth, as you can see. And putting it to one will make full use of your texture. Putting it over one will make it rougher and rougher until you basically don't see any influence of the roughness map. So you can play with the parameters, but if you've exported your roughness map from substance or wherever, putting it to one will give you the, the result that you achieved in your other software. So I hope you learned how to split the masks into different channels and how to manipulate them afterwards in the engine. This, this philosophy also applies in Unity's Shader Graph and all other engines that have this similar PBR workflow. So thanks for watching. If you got some value from this, consider subscribing and see you in another video.